Hey guys, this is Alec. Uh, I wanted to show you a quick app that I use to play Eve while on my iPhone or iPad, whether I'm at home or out at a coffee shop, anywhere that has a cell phone signal or Wi-Fi. So the app is called Splash Top. It's actually a remote desktop application, which uh, some of you may or may not know what it is, but let me show you what it's all about real quick. Let's open it up. Splash Top. Okay, so... It logs in and it connects to any computer that you have the program connected to. So I only have one computer, of course, and you can rename it whatever you want. I, re I named it Darko, just because it's the first thing that popped in my mind. Anyway, so as you do that, you notice that your computer kind of blinks on and has a different setting. Uh, this is what it looks like, what first pops up once you open the app. I'm using my iPad, by the way. Uh, I figured it'd be easier to do it that way because everything's more blown up than it would to videotape my iPhone. Anyway, first thing it shows you is two different slides of instructions. So you can, instead of just reading them off to you, I'm just going to show you how, which ones you, I usually use to play Eve. So here's some more instructions, yada yada. I'll show you how to do these anyway. Okay, so I already had Eve up on my computer. And as you can see, this is what I see on my iPad or what I would see on my iPhone. So here's what my computer looks like. Exact same thing, right? Okay, so as you can see on my computer, the bottom left, down here, that's the actual Splash Top app. So you log in, do whatever, and it can hook up to your phone. So you have to have it running in order for it to be able to, uh, for having anything like your phone or your tablet to hook up to it. Anyway, so things I use this for. Right now I'm on autopilot to Jitta to sell some stuff. But anyway, let me show you some cool uses of this. So let's say I want to like type with somebody or I don't know, use one of my keyboard functions I'm used to like Alt R which opens up the marketplace. So just press this little keyboard symbol at the bottom right, opens up keyboard. Now while the keyboard's open and excludes on my iPhone, I can move the cursor around up top as long as I place my finger around. So uh, one thing that's pretty cool is uh, when you press say Alt or one of the F1 or 2 or whatever options or control it stays like that so I don't have to hold it like on a keyboard then I press R there now if I press R again it'll close it because alt is still activated so I want to deactivate it so I can start typing like say I want to search something like an orca let's type it in orca press return then if you want more window space just minimize the keyboard down there so there you go. I'm I am like say at work or coffee shop and I'm playing Eve right now. I'm looking at the marketplace. Now let's close that down and let me show you how the mouse works. Okay, so the way I have my mouse configured right now is is the way I like to have it. So I think the way it starts off is touch like touch screen mode. So I just switched over to touch screen mode. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Touch screen mode is like it's a touch screen. So anywhere I push, it'll select. So if I select my overview, that player, it'll select. That's what touch screen mode is. But I find it's really hard to, like, that's how you look around, by the way. You just touch and start dragging, whatever. It's kind of hard. I don't really like it all that much. So one thing I do is take two fingers and tap the screen, and it switches over. It even lets you know. It shows you the hint how to switch back. Press close. Now, as you can see, the left mouse button is over here on the left, and the right mouse button is right here. The, the right clicker there you go and you move around by just grabbing anywhere on the screen and just dragging around and that's what I do and then if you want to left click faster without actually reaching over the left side if you're using one hand just click anywhere on the screen and it's the same as selecting for example there anyway so to change the way the mouse left and right click are down here you see a mouse circle so a little menu for it, oh, push the wrong one, click on it or touch it and it shows you different options, sensitivity, acceleration, transparency, you can play with those later but the one I'm looking at is position. So it shows you different areas of the screen where you can play, play around and uh, place these left and right mouse clickers. This is what the default is so you're probably familiar with this one. So as you can see the right and left are right here. I like using the one I had when I started this video because it's easier when I'm on my iPhone to do it this way. 
Okay, so one last feature I want to show you before this video gets way too long is what if, what if I have multiple screens, like a monitor plus my laptop? How do I switch between screens? There's a little arrow key between the mouse and the keyboard menu. Just click on it. It pops up even more menu options. The one I'm looking forward to or look want to look at is the one that has the one and two with the arrow swapping the one and two monitor screens around. I push that. Well, let me see if I selected it just now. And my screen just switched over to my other screen. Now let's switch that back. There we go. Now one thing you probably can't notice is the sound. The sound, once I activated the app, the sound was no longer coming from my speakers on my monitor. It started coming out of my iPad and stopped coming out of my monitor. So it can actually direct uh, audio as well as visual. You can also disable that if you want to, but uh, let's say for example, I chose to mute my audio on my computer or unmute it because it's it mutes automatically if you have the settings on it but if you uh it'll it'll unmute your computer at home but it won't mute or unmute your computer here so that's one cool thing so i want to mute it so if like i have someone at home they won't hear it or won't disturb the neighbors if i'm playing something loud anyway that's pretty much it just wanted to show you that app it's really cool uh, it's a very good app. If you're connected to Wi-Fi, you can even do things like mission running or even mine on EVE Online. So I'll uh, leave comments below if you want to know more about this app, what it's called or where to find it. Or just like if you really enjoyed the video.